Right, it's January the 9th, 2009, and I'm going to play a live recording of some of my Dorset family tree research, where I arrive in a place called Motcombe, where various ancestors of Sandy, Daisy, Amber and Harry are to be found, or it, not necessarily their graves, but we know this, there are people buried. But anyway, this is me in 2008, in June, out and about doing family tree research for the Dorset family. I'm off to um, Shaftesbury now. I might come across a place called Mottacombe, or Mottacombe, um, where there were some ancestors. I'm just going to have a quick look to see which ancestors I'm supposed to be looking for there. <coughs> right, just to make things easy, it's a Thomas Beeling, born Gillingham, died Ashmore. So I'll be going to Ashmore as well. And his wife, Elizabeth Bastable, born Stir Provis, died Ashmore. And then the Mockhams, we've got Sophia Burden's father, William, from Mockham, died Shaftesbury. And Harriet Lambert, born Mockham, died Shaftesbury. And then William Burden's mother, Grace Broadway, I think, or something. She was born Mockham, died Shaftesbury. So we've got Broadway, Lambert, Burden. Right, well I've arrived in Mockham. It's nine o'clock, it's a very small village. Very narrow, and lots of people were parking to deliver their kids to school. But they managed to find a memorial hall, if I hope I can park here. Just having a bit of to keep me straight up. So I've arrived at Motcombe. And, um... I'm going to go and see if there's anything in the graves. So Broadway, Beaning, um, Burden I mean, and Lambert. Right, so off I go. Get some weird looks from people. They wonder what a woman's doing wandering around on her own, I suppose. Right, I'm going to find um, a place called Church Walk now, opposite to the church. Um, Yeah, it's quite an old village, one of the largest in North Dorset or something. North Farm is one of the oldest farms located here. They've got a nice plan of the um, village and all the different walks as well. Mary's Church, Church of England. Right, it's quite a basic looking church. Short tower, no spire. I don't know whether it's open. I'll go and have a look in a minute. People look at you nervously when they see you walking around talking to yourself. <coughs> Doesn't seem to be a history book or anything. Um, the organ's very nicely decorated in green, gold and red. Quite pretty. It's well maintained. A few plaques on the walls. Simple altar. Simple ceiling. Um, so this is St Mary's, Mottcombe. Just having a look to see if there's any names that might stick out. <coughs> and now it looks like there's quite a good sized graveyard, but I won't know until I walk around the back. It's always a pity when they haven't got a little, any postcards or anything. Well, I've put my name in the visitor's book anyway. Right, I'm going to go back outside now. Okay. At least this place was open. Henry Hunt died 1901, age 54. The Celtic Cross. 
Stacy. Looks like they've kept some overgrown with grass as well. This is quite a common thing now to allow the wildlife to, um, to brown. And we've got a few crumb stones as you first go round or clockwise behind the tower. And uh, let's have a quick look at those. There's a school right next door. Um, so I'm just going to have a scan and put the tape on now and again. I'll take a picture actually of the graveyard to get an idea to remind me. It's a very ornate grave with metal railings and golden angels painted of Elizabeth Mary Marchioness of Westminster who's buried here, one of the patrons of the church. She died sort of um, 1891, born 17 something. Oh, that's good. I found a Broadway straight away. Sarah Mary Broadway, who died December the 2nd, 1873, age 38. And also Lu Louisa Broadway, who died December the 2nd, 1876, age 41. I'll take a picture as a memento for this graveyard as well. And Elijah, or Elijah Lambert, who died April 15th, 1886, age 62, and his wife Christiana, who died May the 8th, 1976, of Sir Maria, daughter of the above, who died August the 3rd, 1908, age 60. So that's an Elijah Lambert. And it could be related yet. I might take a picture of that one as well. I'm not going deep into the grass because I haven't got boots on and I don't want to pick up any ticks or anything. You never know what's in them. It's um, quite a well-maintained graveyard, really. It is good to let them um, have the wild grass as well. So I'm just going to have a look at uh, some of these graves. Some of these people probably never even come from this village, they come from the outsiders. Arthur Henry Gray died the 25th of December 1971, age 70. And his wife Hilda died 1983, age 81, because there were Greys in the family as well. I'm having a really good look around, oh, I love doing this sort of thing. I'm glad I got the early start as well. I got up at five o'clock. I was in the graveyard by seven. I'm um, right, looking around still, keeping an eye on my tape, but I've got another side anyway. Yeah, there's a field at the bottom, and of course you've got the school. I can understand people being a bit worried by somebody wandering around near a school these days. It's always a worry. I've got grandchildren in the room. I'm going to have a look around. See if I can pick up any more names. But like I said, I'm not going to go digging around too much. Um, unless I can see somebody's name, and then I might dig around. And then turn the tape off now until I find somebody. What it is, you've got some that have been tidied. I expect they rotate, and some that are left in grass. Of course, you can bet your life the ones that are covered in grass and you can't see will be some of the relatives, probably. So that's how it goes. I had that problem at Brinkley Church. And there was an awful lot I couldn't, when I was looking for my ancestors, an awful lot I couldn't find. Bailey, that sounds familiar. Bailey. I don't know, I can't remember who it was connected to now. Still 
sunlight up, so clouds are in there. Predict storms another day. Carrying on looking around, this is Sheila at Mockham, just a reminder where we are. Now here we've got a clotter and lamb bird um, who died April the 19th, 1921, aged 59, in Albert Edgar Lambert. That's B E R D on the end. He died 1943, aged 81, and Bessie Eliza Lambert, who died 1971, aged 83. And it's, it's a, sometimes it's Lambert, sometimes it's Lambert, sometimes it's Lambert. So we've got a whole um, section there. I'm carrying on looking. I'm sure I've been down this row. Down right. Some hidden in the trees there. Uh, right, part one um, is nearly complete, so uh, another tape recording will continue with part two. Um, while at this grave um, yard at Motcombe, uh, buried within there will be several relate relations, um, burdens, broadways and Lamberts um, and other ones further along in the tree that I discovered that came from Motcombe as well. So anyway, that's the end of part one of Sheila's visit to Motcombe, continuing in a minute with part two. Over and out for now. This is Sheila here. Um, it's 2023 now. I'm adding this extra bit of narration because a lot has occurred since 2008. A lot more research in the records, people sharing information, and I've added more photos and some PDF information about the broadways in particular of Mockham and some of their early history where they most possibly came from Gloucestershire. Um, so that, that's a little bit about the early um, broadways. This is, um, recording is all done on behalf of my two granddaughters, Daisy and Amber Shepherd, um, whose line comes to the Broadways via their grandmother on their father's side, um, Sandy Mirfield, who links up further back in time, you know, with the Broadways. So this is a bit of an experiment using this particular adding of uh, narration to an older audio that I did and I have since now uh, created a video for YouTube and added photos to the audio. The original audio is on um, Ancestry, just has an audio. Since then I've added web links to um, the tree so that you can go on YouTube to listen to the video audio creation that I've recently done. So this is Sheila, April 2023, on behalf of her granddaughters and their family tree. Over and out for now. More to come with part two.